I was 20 years old. Like, I been new about the game, but I been, like, you know, breaking on boys and breaking on dudes right. and all that. But actually, like, activating my hoeing and hitting a concrete, mm -hmm. hitting the concrete, going to a red light district, mm -hmm. actually selling my body. I was 20 years old. It was June 1st, 1985. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. And I know when you said um, you started out in this lifestyle, what you started out seeing was your brothers, right? So how old were you when you decided that you wanted to do this? And then how did you step out and get your first um, P? Is that the what? First pimp. Okay. The first pimp. How old were you when you actually did that? And how did you? I was 20. You were 20? I was 20 years old. Like, I been new about the game. But I been, like, you know, breaking on boys and breaking on dudes right. and all that. But actually, like, activating my hoeing and hitting a concrete, mm -hmm. hitting the concrete, going to a red light district, mm -hmm. actually selling my body. I was 20 years old. It was June 1st, 1985. Mm, you know the exact date. I know. It was a Saturday night in San Francisco, and it was wow. lit. But you said one of your brothers were sort of like protected because in the story you told, you said that whenever he was coming to the house, y'all would run inside and put on like longer pants and That's stuff like that. That's when I was like a teenager. That. When you were a teenager. So but I'm I would 20. Think, I'm grown. Right. I would think I that he was still. I had a baby at 17, so, uh, so 20. I'm grown. I wish a motherfucker would tell me something. <laughs> you know, I'm grown, grown. I ain't had a baby. Oh, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? My brother's cross country. Okay. They doing their own thing. And I decided to get down with the get down. Okay. So, like, when I was younger, yeah, we were scared of our brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, strict, like, do right in school, do this, do that. But I'm a 20-year-old woman working mm -hmm. at the post office, sorting mail. Wasn't and, making enough money. And it wasn't making enough money, and I needed a rainbow bright bedroom set for my beautiful little daughter okay and i just went it started on the weekend and it just was like full blown once you get that money how much money did you make that first time the first night i made 500 dollars, and i was with a white girl named kim she had blue eyes and uh, blonde hair and this um italian girl named terry mm -hmm. but like i said before in one of my interviews I don't think that my night would have turned out that spectacular had I been by myself or with some other black girls. Mm -hmm. And that's not knocking black girls. I'm saying white girls can get in places where other people can't. Right. And then I'm with, I'm a cute black girl and I'm with the Italian girl and a mm -hmm. blind girl. We looking like a girl group, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or Charlie's Angels. And it was no I'm denying us, you know what I'm saying? Anybody. Any trick that's seen us, you know, they giving us what we wanted. How did you choose your pimp? How did I choose my pimp? Because you, you end up with them, so you end up with their pimp. No, no, no. 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 So no. you just walked out on the track and be like, this is what I want to do that night. You no, didn't have a no, pimp that I night? Wanted, I wanted, no, I didn't. Okay, so you did not have a pimp no, that night. No, I went out with them and I turned out, but they did have a man, but he was like a dope boy. Oh. Yeah, so I was out there when I was out there on the track. I ran into a real pimp. Mm. And, you know, like, he wasn't no dope dealer. He wasn't selling dope. He was straight getting it from the womb. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.